Welcome to Module 8. In this course, you will learn how to insert sparklines, outline data, insert subtotals, and apply conditional formatting. These tools give you quick ways to synthesize and visualize trends in your data. Excel 2016 includes a feature that allows analysis of data with a few clicks of the mouse. Let's insert sparklines on the temperature table. Select all the temperature data. You will see the quick access icon at the bottom right corner of the selected data. Click this to open the gallery and click Sparklines. Hover your mouse over each of the three sparklines available to see what they look like, lines, columns, and win-loss. For this data, using columns makes the most sense to represent the temperature range over the year. This inserts mini bar graphs. The lower the temperature, the longer the column reaches down, since they are all negative degrees. We can change the look of the sparklines by clicking the Design tab in the ribbon, which appears once sparklines are inserted in the spreadsheet. Pick the teal color, Accent 3. Another purpose for worksheets is to serve as lists of values and their related descriptions. You can create these lists through grouping, outlining, and creating subtotals. Let's learn how to group the cells together using the average ice levels in Antarctica table. Scroll down to the last row of data for 1980. Insert two new rows. In cell B16, type average 1980. In cell C16, calculate the average ice level for the year. To do this, use the formula equals average C4 through C15, which will take the average of all the cells in this range. Bold these cells. To make it easier to see the average data, group the data for 1980. Select all the rows for 1980, excluding the average. In the Data tab, click Group. A group indicator line is added to the left of the row markers, and an outline symbol displays on the row just below the end of the group. To minimize the group, click the outline symbol, which looks like a minus button. Repeat this process for the data for 1981 and 1982. When you finish, you will see a list of the average temperatures, which you can maximize. Though this process is easy, it is tedious and time-consuming to create a group for each year. Fortunately, Excel picks up on our patterns and creates the groups for us. Scroll down on your list and add in the average rows at the end of each year. For this example, go through 1985. Once each year has the average, return to the Group option on the Data tab. Click the arrow next to Group and choose Auto Outline. Excel will ask you if you'd like to modify the existing outline. Click OK. You now have groups created for the data from 1980 to 1985. Collapse the groups to view a list of these averages. If you want to expand the data, click the plus next to the row header. A quick way to collapse all the data at once is by clicking the arrow in the upper left corner of your spreadsheet to highlight all cells. Then click the Hide Detail button in the Data tab. You can also expand all the sections using the Show Detail button above it. Let's say you'd like to see the annual average ice level for each year that you have in your data. To do this manually would take a long time. To quickly calculate the average of each month, you can use the subtotal button on the Home menu. Start by removing the averages you manually calculated earlier. Hide 
Highlight all the data in the table starting from row 3 and click the subtotals button. Since you are looking for averages by year, choose year for the at each change in box. Use the function average and add subtotal to extent. Now you see the average subtotal below the details for each year. Collapse the data to see an overview of all the averages. Note that the subtotals function only works with cell ranges and not with data formatted as a table. You will learn more about tables in Module 9. The Excel conditional formatting feature enables you to apply formatting according to rules. A fun and relevant way to use conditional formatting for this table is color scales. Select the temperature data again. To get more detailed in your formatting, use the Rules Manager, which can be found in the Conditional Formatting menu under Manage Rules. Click New Rule. Let's look at the lowest 10% of temperatures, the coldest times in Antarctica. Choose Format Only Top or Bottom Ranked Values. Then select Format Values that rate the bottom 10% of the selected range. Make sure to check the box for percentage. Click Format to decide how you'd like the newly formatted cells to look. Go to the Fill tab and choose a light teal color and press OK. Click OK again to exit the dialog box. What's interesting to see here is that the coldest months are not always in June and July, 